Hello, my name is Ivo and welcome to my channel. Today I will showcase you how I repainted my Hornby OO gauge flying scousman model. So I had two flying scousman models of Hornby. One was a great runner, but one was just sitting on a shelf look, looking, at, looking at me. But I decided to repaint him to his northeastern black livery, which he wore during the Second World War. Flying Scotsman was built in 1923 as part of Great Northern Railways, A1 class of Pacific Express passenger locomotive, wheel arrangement 462 Pacific. You can see I'm unscrewing the tender right now. You can see I masked the tape, masked the locomotive in several parts with tape, so it can, doesn't get covered with paint. Flying Scotsman in 1928. But 1st of May, we traveled non stop between London and Edinburgh during 8 hours, which set the world record for this with, with this train. You can see I'm masking the locomotive, the firebox is masked, the window is masked, the safety valve, whistle, nameplate, and you can see there's the finished product ready to be sprayed with black matte spray. On the 30th of November 1934, Lang Scotsman reached 100 miles per hour on the Sending Stoke Bank. But in 1939, everything changed. You can see my dad applying the first coat of black. The Britain was now at war, so all the deliveries disappeared on the black coat of paint. You can see my dad's Play, um, masking, uh, repainting the tender right now. Thankful, thankfully, 1945 the war had ended, and uh, but in 1947, Lance Scotsman was given an overhaul, which he was recla reclassified as an A3 Pacific locomotive. In 1948, was the national was the, was the construction of British Railways, which was formed of the London and North Eastern Railway, Great Western Railway, London Midland and Scottish Railway, and the Southern Railway was all grouped into one railway. You could see that there's the finished product. It's very nicely sprayed. Thank you, Dad. In 1959, Scott was given an overhaul again, and he was given a double chimney. This mod wasn't too great because the smoke was flying everywhere and it blinded the crew. But you can see me unmasking Scott. In 1962, Lance Scott was given German style smoke deflectors. In, 19, in late 1962, um, for favor of the design uh, dieselization, Scott was uh, sentenced to be scrapped in 1963. It holded last train in 1963. But in the same year, he was bought by Alan Pegler, a rail fan. He was given an overhaul at Derby Works and repainted in its, in its original apple green livery. Between 1963 and 1968, Lance Cosman took rail tours all around Britain, even lifting the ban between and London and Edinburgh non-stop with two tenders. Yes, two tenders. In 1969, Britain was uh, Britain British Railways banned all steam locomotives from the main line, and Scott was given a rail tour to America in Canada. In Canada, in 1972, Alan Pegler was forced to be bankrupt. And in 1973, Scott was sitting in America waiting his fate, but. Another, another man stepped in. Sir William McAlpine purchased the engine and brought her back to England, given an overhaul, and was back on the British tracks. In 1988, for rail fest in Australia, Scott was br brought onto Australia. You can see the finished product unmasked and ready to be painted and ready to be screwed up. The flying, you can see me repainting the wheels. We didn't want to spray the wheels and uncouple the valve gear, so we just painted. I painted with a mar marker. In 1989, Scott, still in, the, uh, still in Australia, managed 492 miles non-stop to Alice Springs. In 1991, Scott returned to 
Britain, and but in 1996 it was bought by another man, Tony Ma director Tony Marshington, purchased her and given her an aura hall. But in 2004, the National Railway Museum stepped in and bought her. But in 2006, a long overhaul was taking place. You can see me coupling the tender to the engine. The overhaul took 10 years, but thankfully, in 2015, Scott was taking a test on the East Lancashire Railway, and Scott proved to be successful again to be steam, and this launch was on Fe February 24th, 2016. You can see her still running on the British tracks. On, on mainline tours, on little branch lines. So you can see my model was red weathered very nicely the smoke box, buffers, pistons and tender. I like this look of this model. The one uh, the 103 isn't the best. We, uh, we need to fix that. The nameplate is very nicely applied. This model doesn't really run well, but we got it running on max speed. She using, she's not a good runner, but and thankfully she sometimes runs. There's a fault in her. We don't know what it is. We're trying to dad to repair her sometimes, but it sometimes just doesn't work. I don't know why this has to happen. Sadly, Flying Scots was the only preserved of the A1 or A3 class steam locomotive in Britain. In, in the world, she's the only one that exists. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.